Hi, this is Brandon with Precision Defensive Solutions. Hi, I'm Stephanie. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the importance of body structure when we're doing something. Where our foot position, where our hips are, where our shoulders are. Um, and this is something that, this is huge with you, especially with our new karate students. Um, you just kind of drill that in for quite a while um, because it really does build a very strong foundation. Now, body position <clears throat> does not have to affect mobility. A strong body posture, a strong body structure doesn't have to affect mobility. I mean, if you're doing it wrong, I guess it could. Um, <clears throat> but I think we need to look at deeper into what natural body position and, and how important that is. So we talk about when we shoot, you know, toes, when we first start, toes pointing, you know, at the target, feet offset a little bit, not like crazy a lot, but offset a little bit, uh, hips and shoulders, nose, all pointing at the target. We don't do anything different in martial arts, it's the same concept. Mm -hmm. um, but where's the benefit? Where's the benefit in, in that, that, that body structure? Why do we do that? Well, it definitely helps when you're shooting balance or manage the recoil. Mm -hmm. And for someone who's short like me, I can stand there and I, and you make me do it with some of those big guys. I can stand there and shoot a 357 with no problems, except maybe the sound. <laughs> yeah, the sound gets you a little bit, but. But that's, that's me with my health issues. But the physical, being able to hold on to it, hold, manage the recoil with the body structure I can do it no problem. And even when I was carrying a 365 and how snappy it was, I could do that. Mm -hmm. And it was all about the body structure. Yeah, because I mean, you know, people wanna shoot fast. They talk about how you need to get shots on target quickly in a defensive situation. But if your recoil is your muzzle's coming all the way up here, it takes a while for it to settle back down and for you to see your sights. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we talk about a good solid grip, but we also talk about not trying to squeeze the juice out of the gun. And one of the things I say is, let your body structure grip the gun, not just your hands. So if you set and you drop your shoulders down and you drive your muscle, your shoulders, your lats, everything into that grip, everything presses in, comes straight back, and you've got a good solid grip on that gun, then you can control recoil better. You can get faster follow-up shots and all. What about mobility? So one of the newer things that we've been working on when we can with you is shooting from behind uh, a barrier. You mean not shooting through it? Not shooting through it. So <clears throat> that's difficult, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. we don't want to lean too much out, but we need to see just enough. But if we switch our feet to our normal shooting stance and we have our right foot back, we're going to the right side of the target, how much do we need to lean out away from that target or from that barrier to see the target? Not much. But if we shift and we put our right leg in front, it's a lot less, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's what we're talking about, that body structure. Your foot position really does make a difference um, because it's your balance. It's, it's where your center of balance is. Your rotation of your, your, the rotation of your hips, you only have so much rotation only so much of a range of motion. But if we, 
you know, open up our feet. Doesn't mean our feet or our hips are gonna rotate anymore. Now, if we turn our heels way out, that's gonna limit mm -hmm. our hip motion. But if our feet are pointing forward, it does not limit our, our motion, whether they're pointing outward this way or, or this way, not at all. In fact, I would argue from our martial arts background that that would allow you to shift and move quicker because now your feet are going to move with your hips. Um, so here's the thing. People will talk about how body structure doesn't matter. It absolutely matters in the shooting sports, in defensive training, empty hand, shooting, whatever. It matters. Um, so stop, stop with all the garbage. Well, and the people who tend to say that are the ones who are tall and big, and they're not short like me, mm -hmm. who have to make it work for their body. And for someone like me who also has inner ear issues, I have to make it work because if I come off balance, I'm in trouble because mm -hmm. I can't just move a foot. I have to figure out, okay, how do I make my body stop spinning? Right. And <laughs> when you're holding a gun, that's a scary thought. That's a scary thought. So, um, if you want to get out, you want you want to you want to improve your shooting uh, and do it, you know, in in a great detail. Um, reach out to us. Um, we can definitely look at it online, um, either if, through Zoom. I know a lot of our followers aren't necessarily local. Um, that's okay. Um, we can definitely do a, uh, an online Zoom class with you to kind of help you. Mm -hmm. uh, some video analysis, things like that. Uh, if you are local and you want to come in and train with us, come in and train with us. Mm -hmm. uh, we will absolutely help you become a better shooter. So, thanks everybody. Appreciate your time. Appreciate you. Be safe. Have a good one.